Hey guys, for today's science experiment, we are gonna find out what happens when you take water and put it somewhere really cold like the freezer. Do you guys have any idea what happens to water or a liquid when it gets really cold? If you made a guess, that's called making a prediction. We'll see later if your prediction was correct. What you need for this experiment is food coloring, popsicle sticks, those are optional, and um, an ice cube tray, which I didn't have because my uh, freezer itself produces the ice cubes. So I'm going to improvise and use little Dixie cups instead. Hopefully that will work. The first thing we're going to do is put water into our Dixie cups or your ice cube tray if you have one of those. So you can see as the water is going in, it is a liquid. All right, next thing we're gonna do is put some of the food coloring in here. Now you may be thinking, Ms. Schwartz, why do we need food coloring to watch what happens to water when it gets cold? Well, after it's done and we put these in the freezer and we take them back out in a bunch of hours, we're actually gonna use them for some painting. So that is why we're adding colors. So I'm going to add green to this one. Now, we know that food dye is very concentrated, but we're gonna want this water to be pretty concentrated for when we're painting. So I'm gonna do three drops of food coloring per cup. That way when we paint with it, the color comes out nice and dark. Whoops, got a little drop on the table. Now I have three popsicle sticks and three cups. So I am going to put one popsicle stick in each cup. Like I said, these are optional. They're gonna make it a lot easier when we're painting, but if you don't have them, no problem. You can just use your hands. So I'm gonna take this, put it in the red. I'm gonna stir it around so that the food coloring mixes in really well. That's it, sit it in there. Stir the blue around really well. And then leave that stick in there. And stir the green around really well. And leave that stick in there as well. Now that I'm done mixing my colors, I have to take these to the freezer because that's where I put them to get really cold. Let's go. This is my refrigerator. On the left side is the freezer. Both sides are cold, but the freezer gets much, much colder. So that's the side we need to put our water in. Close it up, and now we have to use our patience and wait a few hours to see what happens. All right guys, now that our water with the, what's that called? With the food coloring in it has solidified and is hard, we're gonna use it to paint. So I'm back outside and I have a big white piece of paper. So I have to get my cubes out of this cup. So I think, oh, look at that. I can actually just pull it right out. So I guess I'm going to start with blue and I can start painting. kind of like watercolor. And guess what? Now, as my solid is out of the freezer and out of the super cold, it's actually going to start to melt and go back to a liquid. I'm going to pick out a different color. Let's try red. Very cool. And then my last color, if you remember, is green. So 
So this is a perfect outside activity for a nice hot day because the hotter it is and the more these melt, the more color you'll be able to get from them and use to paint. Look, even as my blue's been sitting here, it's been melting. So look at how much blue watercolor I now have to paint with. Same thing with the red. So I only did three colors. Maybe you'll do three, maybe you'll do more. I can't wait to see what colors you guys choose and the paintings you come up with. Have fun guys. See ya.